We talk security now. Uh, residents of Abuja are now worried about the security advisory from the federal government leading to the sudden closure of the federal government college in Kwali. But they commended the federal government for taking proactive steps to avoid a repeat of what happened to the Chipok girls. Helen Osamide Akins has more. Intelligence reports of the possibility of terrorists attacking the federal capital territory had been taken with not much seriousness by residents, but we are confident that such an attempt would easily be repelled by the security agencies and the armed forces. But claims of an intelligence report advising parents to come pick their children from boarding schools in Abuja and its vicinity has heightened anxiety among residents. The Federal Ministry of Education has confirmed it did send out a message advising parents of children in unity schools to come pick their children due to prevailing security threats. The minister said the closure became necessary following security breach on Shedda and Lambata villages, suburb of Kwali Area Council, which also threatened FGC Kwali. He noted that the timely intervention of security agencies saved the situation. Parents hurriedly rushing to take their children home. This has created a lot of anxiety, not only among affected parents, but residents at large, about how secure the federal capital territory is at present. If students are asked to, to go home, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. No, no parents or parents will want to lose uh, their children. So, and uh, you can see what banditry has cost the, the nation. They say a teaching time saves none. And if government did not tell them now, if anything should happen, people will blame the government. I think it's a best action for now. Other unity colleges within the country have been asked to liaise with security agencies within their jurisdictions in order to prevent any security breach in the schools. But what is now the fate of students of FGC Kwali who were yet to complete their exams before they were forced to leave school in a hurry? Does this suggest the terrorists may be fulfilling their mantra of Western education is seen by distorting through school's curriculum? The constant threat to the education system by terrorists is assuming a larger-than-life dimension with the threat of unity schools in the FCT. And if the FCT, the seat of government, is under such threat of attack, how safe is the country at large? Helen Osamede Akins, TVC News, Abuja.